I'm standing outside the apartments where, until about three hours ago, lived Leonard Levin, Lenny to his friends, career pizza delivery man. Police say Lenny robbed the Fallbrook and Victory branch of the Bank of the Hills this afternoon. Witnesses say he entered the bank's lobby around 3.40 p.m. with a homemade bomb attached to a metal collar and secured with a padlock. Lenny was carrying with him a blue gym bag and handed the teller a note that he claimed was written by the man who locked the device on him. The note demanded that she fill the bag with a quarter million dollars. The FBI believe this is a ruse concocted by Mr. Le Levin to cover himself in case he got caught. But friends and neighbors insist this is not possible. Pizza, dude. Pizza, dude. I think he's lying. You order a pizza, sir? He's lying. They've been eating it for two weeks and no eat pizza. What'd you order, sir? Some large thin crust pepperoni with extra sauce, right? Yeah. All right, good enough for me. Um, sorry about the mix-up, sir. Totals, uh, uh, 15 20. He's not scrounging up pennies or something. Sir, I, uh, I really gotta get going. I got some other runs to do. Sir, I can't really wait like this. Sir, I'm gonna need the order back if uh, if now's not a good time. Sir, sir, I, I got I gotta take the order with me. I'll go ahead and cancel it when I get back to the store. All right, I, I need to go ahead and take the order. This is way better than Domino's. Who are you? What do you want? My money? What is this? What'd you put on me? <laughs> so I only mention. I call it the collar bond. What? No. You can't do this. You sure? Because I'm pretty sure I already did it. Inside that box on your fat chest. Is enough homemade plastic to blow a hole in it the size of a pancake. I don't know what kind, of, what kind of wacko shit you got in mind, but everyone at the store knows where I am, and they'll send the cops looking for me if I'm not back in, like, 20 minutes. Muy bien, Lenny. Why oh, would they come looking for you here, Panson? Ain't nobody here order a pizza. Did they? Hello. I'm liking to order large drink crust pizza with extra sauce and pepperoni made of pig meat. Thank you very much. How do you even know my name? You can call me Castigo. And how I know your name? It's none of your fucking business. <laughs> Thanks, amigo. I really like some entertainment when I'm eating. What is it? Where is the key? It's your motivation, Lenny. And there ain't no key. It's a combination lock. And I'm the only one who knows the combination. So if I was you, I'd be really nice to me. Motivation to do what? Oh, please. Ay, please caramba. don't do I don't want that. I don't want your fat ass. I want money. Here, here. Just. Here, here. I got, I got like $60. It's, it's all I carry on me. If you want, we can go to the bank for the rest. All right? Gracias. Can I, can I go now? Sorry, amigo. It's not going to be that easy. Oh, please, sir. Just tell me what you want, okay? Just tell me. I'll do anything. I want you to rob the bank and take the money to a place I already got set up. Sit. Simple. I'm out of here. Here. <coughs> 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 
stop playing games now and listen to me, Lenny. Because if you don't, I'm gonna make that big box locked around your neck go boom! <laughs> and your useless life gonna be over. Just like that. Why me? I picked you special, Lenny. I know you never had nothing, cause you never did nothing. I hate all you lacy Americanos. My friends will be watching you the whole way. So if you go to the police, or try to remove the caller, they will detonate remotely with this. When you drop the money, you'll find directions to a parking lot nearby where I'll take off the caller. I'll give you 10000 and never bother you again. He'll give me $10,000. And just let me go. Once my friend tells me I got the money, see, that's all I want. Now, you better get going, because the clock is ticking. Ticking? What do you mean ticking? But you got 30 minutes. If you don't get back to me before it's over, well... Oh my god! Hey, focus! Oh, focus! There's a note inside of the back! There's a pink one for the teller, and there's a blue one for you. They'll tell you exactly what to do. Don't lose them, or you'll be lost too. Twenty-nine minutes left. But you better keep going, or you're gonna miss the bus. Once you leave the bank, head east on Victory and turn left into, turn the left into the alley just before Topanga Canyon. Stop at the high chain link fence with the razor wire. The bag in the small dumpster. Find a paper coffee cup on the ground. There's your final instructions in it. Drive to the restaurant at the end of this alley. In its parking lot, you see a white SUV. Get in the back and I'll remove the collar. Hey, please, officer! Don't move. Not one inch. Lace your fingers behind your head. Thank God you're here. Thank God you're here. You gotta help me, please. Please. It wasn't me, okay? I swear. I swear it wasn't me. He forced me to do it. He forced, Who forced me. You? What the hell is that thing? Sit down! It's a bomb, officer. That's what I've been trying to tell you, okay? It's a bomb. The psycho customer of mine locked it around my neck when I was out cold. He, he told me that that if I didn't rob the bank, that he was going to detonate it remotely. Look, I'm trying to stay calm here, okay? I really am. But you got to stop this shit right now and get this thing off me now. I don't got to do one damn thing except calling the bomb squad. They'll see if it's real or not. There's no time for that. Okay, please, please, just help me out here. Woodland what is 201 the to station over. How many yeah, times? I, I can't read it from this angle. I've apprehended the perp from the B of H robbery and have him in custody in an alley behind the uh, behind a strip center. Request the bomb squad for a D and D ASAP over. Please, they'll, they'll never make it in time. Sir, you just need to calm down. You're not in calm charge. Calm down. What do you think this is? Some some domestic violence call? Request for D and D approved 201. Bomb disposal unit en route. Secure a safe perimeter. Keep suspect and mobile and await their arrival. Roger. ETA on the BDU over. Stand by 201. It's all over for me. Come on, Lenny. You know as well as I do that thing isn't real. No, it's real, all right. You didn't see the look on this guy's face. He's psycho, I'm telling you. He doesn't give a shit about anybody except for himself and his money. ETA about five minutes, 201. Roger. Woodland 201 out. Please, you gotta get this thing off me now! Please! Sir, I would like to help you, but I don't have the training. I don't have the training or the gear. Even if I did, I don't have the authorization. That's what the bomb squad is for. I can't believe this happening. Just stay there. Be quiet. I'll go, I'll get, I'll go look out for them. God damn. Ticket writing. Donut munching. Two hour lunch. Taking useless fucking pigs. Oh God. Oh God. I don't know why this is happening to me, but if this thing is somehow fake, or if you get me out of this some other way, I promise you I'll change. I promise. I'll go back to school. I'll finish my college degree. I'll be a better person, just please. Please don't let me die like this. It's just too... It's just too stupid.
with the manager of Lenny's Apartments, Miss Rosa Hernandez. Mrs. Hernandez, you were very close to Lenny. Please tell me, do you believe people are planning something like this? Lenny, a criminal genius? Nah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that man was dumber than dirt. The only theory that makes sense is that of Lenny's own, that he was not the architect of this clever crime, but its victim, a sacrificial lamb at the hands of the extreme selfishness of a diabolical criminal. Though the villain is still at large, the FBI are exhausting every lead. And, and don't forget, we now have one bedroom available with freeway clothes, washer, dryer, connections. Thank you, Mrs. Hernandez. That's all I've got, and back to you at the studio.